All right, 533, you might think of libraries. They can be quiet spaces to read or even try to get work done. Sierra Vista's public library says it wants working parents to know they can bring their toddlers and not worry about a big distraction. Now to your sides, Brooke Chow, again here with us in studio, breaking down the perks of this new resource. Good morning, Brooke. Yes, good morning, Jose. Since the pandemic, work styles have been changing. The Sierra Vista Public Library heard about a family co-working station that libraries all across the country were starting to implement. They knew right then and there that is exactly what they needed to do too. I'm like, this is perfect. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yeah, can we make this happen, please? With many people working remotely or not having access to a computer at home, the library has been busy. Most of the time when parents are trying to get work done, they have a hard time juggling that with a toddler on their lap. They're trying to help you type on the keyboard, they're picking up the mouse, they're running away from you, trying to go out the door. Sierra Vista Public Library saw many instances where a parent would try to get some work done and then their child would run loose, sometimes even out the door. And that little dude would be good for a couple of seconds and then just sort of wander away towards the, the front doors. And so he'd have to jump up and go run and go get him and bring him back. The workstation desk has an attached safe open space for a baby or toddler with built in toys and a secure lock so that they cannot go anywhere. There are two workstations located in the back of the library. Library management understands this may be a noisy area for some, but they're wanting to adapt to the needs of their families during these changing times. We, we pride ourselves that we try really hard to listen to the community and find out what they need from us and then try to figure out a way to make that happen. The family co-working stations are expensive, but the friends of the library group were able to help fund two of those workstations. And if they continue to see a need for them, they're going to purchase two more. In the studio, Brooke Chow, KGA 9 on your side.